Drew. Um, I mean, season high, 14 assists, um, 11 of 15 shooting. Just what, uh, how are you feeling tonight? And what were you seeing, um, I guess, offensively? Um, really just trying to get into the paint, uh, be a force in there. And then once they collapse, just find people. Um, there's a couple of bad passes out where I know I had Brand or Dante and, and I threw it at their, at their feet. But <clears throat> I think uh, I really just tried to push the paint, pace and get into the paint. Um, I, I know, I mean, Pat's been playing about 28 minutes a game the last, you know, few weeks. So it's not a surprise he's been out there. But what um, what did he add, I guess, to the starting group tonight uh, in place of Giannis? Uh, yeah, you know, his ability to, to, for one, rebound, two, defend, and then uh, knock down open and tough threes. Um, I think him spacing the floor just made it easier on me either to get into the paint, to the basket. And uh, once I kind of got going, he's wide open. They, they tried to help off on him. So... <clears throat> he brings so much to our team. Eric Name. I think you guys started eight of nine from the three point line tonight. Obviously went twenty four of thirty nine by the end of the night. Uh do you on a night like that, do you guys end up feeding off of each other? Like does one guy get hot and then the next guy like how does that I guess just what's the general feel as you're starting to have that first quarter? You know, it's uh it's contagious. It's contagious. The ball has energy, um, pushing the pace and seeing the ball go through the through the through the hoop, um, the hoop just grows and gets bigger, um, and you know from there, uh, I feel like the the pressure kind of falls off your shoulders, the weight kind of falls, and you just let it go and, and let it shoot. But um, great team effort, just a way to move the ball and, and have that energy of the ball. For you guys, how do you kind of? fight off the urge to overpass. It felt like in the first quarter, like the ball was moving so much. And then there, I think there might've been like a little stretch where there's like one pass too many, but you guys overall kept shooting it. How do you kind of find that balance? Uh, I mean, that's not a bad thing to have. Not all the time. Um, I'd rather have that problem than, than uh, the ball sticking. Um, but <clears throat> sometimes when you, when you overpass and I feel like the team feels it. So at that point, uh, we try not to make the mistake again and really just let it fly. But um, sometimes I feel like when you overpass, it's like you're trying to look out for that next man, uh, for, for, my, for my partner, that next guy. And um, that's a great mentality to have. I think you're often a purveyor of fun on the bench. What did you think of Giannis in the role today? Yeah, he was a clown today. He was, uh, <laughs> he was definitely enjoying himself. Um, but you love to see it, you know. Um, you love to see the, the spirit, the excitement, um, especially for my best player. So. Uh, that carries that carries on throughout the bench. Steve McGargy. I think y'all the first quarter was like maybe the fifth highest scoring quarter in franchise history. For y'all to be able to do that without Giannis in the lineup, just what is what kind of statement do you think y'all made for just the depth y'all have across the roster? Yeah, you know, um, guys step up. Guys step up. I feel like everybody on this team is a professional. Um, we we get we get our work done. And when somebody like our best player is, is not playing that night. Um, we kind of lock in. Everybody has to do a little bit more. So, um, just, again, it's just it's a, it's a testament to the team that we have, um, and we feel like we can play against anybody. But uh, doing that and adding Giannis, we we feel like we're unstoppable. Zara Stevenson. Uh, Drew, another question about the balance scoring. It's never been a problem like scoring with this team this season, but lately it just feels like a lot of get guys are getting in on the action. Chris Middleton talked about it's more conversations than practice just because practice time is limited. What light bulb do you think has gone off when it's just come to the ball movement and, and getting multiple guys, multiple looks? Um, again, I, uh, I guess I kind of feel like it's, it's, a, it's a team thing. It's, it's a chemistry. Um, uh, sometimes we know that, that Giannis can just throw us on the back and, and shoulders and he can score whatever, but um, I feel like situations like this where Maybe he didn't play tonight. Uh, everybody has to start getting going. And um, from there, you know, uh, when everybody touches the ball, it's just this 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 energy that, that goes through the ball and everybody kind of knows I'm going to get a feel. And, um, again, just like tonight, it was about having those conversations and, and, and knowing uh, I'm going to be open and I'm going to make that play for the next guy. So even without practice, I feel like having that chemistry and that, that professionalism is, is huge for our team. Well, Pat, literally a couple hours ago, you told us, hey, I'm here to do whatever the team needs me to do, whether it's knocking down shots, getting rebounds, and tonight it was starting. So what was your approach when you got the nod to begin the game? Uh, you know, continue to bring the energy and the effort, the defense, and 
um, you know, be aggressive on the offensive end when the, when the shots and the driving lanes and the opportunities are there. I think one thing we do really well is move the basketball, or at least when our offense is clicking, we move the basketball a lot. And I think uh, we kind of showcased that tonight. You saw the ball whipping around, and uh, you got to give a credit to the rest of the team for getting each other shots because uh, there weren't a lot of them that were one-on-one -on -one created. It was often, you know, drive, kick, drive, kick. I can remember a possession in the second half where I wasn't even on the floor and I saw six, seven, eight, nine passes. All of a sudden, Bobby shoots one at the um, shot clock buzzer, and I think we had about four good shots, and we ended up with a great shot. And I think that just kind of spoke to the type of offense we played tonight. Chris mentioned that he really wanted you to get a, a 2010 game. What, what's it like to kind of have the ongoing encouragement from your teammates? Uh, it's incredible. I mean, I think that's something that this team really breeds in each other is, uh, you know, success of the guy next to you, success of the guy, you know, two over from you, whatever it is, we really do, in my opinion, a great job of it doesn't really matter who's doing what as long as we're playing well together, winning and uh, making sure that we're having fun in the process. It really doesn't matter who's, you know, no one really looks at the stats itself, except I guess Chris. Eric Zane. Uh Speaking of the stats, Drew has a huge night, 14 assists, 28 points. Just what do you think of his ability to kind of slice open the defense for you guys and, and kick out and, and make that pass? I mean, I think it's something that he can do on a nightly basis. But tonight, obviously, with Giannis out, he was asked to do it even more than he's done it. And it just kind of shows what he's capable of uh, on any given night. And I think that's what makes us so dangerous is you can talk about the 28 points, but the 14 assists, and the 14 assists are just the shots we made. He got a bunch of other open shots that we didn't knock down. Um, and so I think it just kind of speaks to who he is as a player when he's aggressive, when he's aggressive, not just to get his own, but to make sure that he's getting other people involved. And then from a defensive standpoint, he brings so much. He's just, he's one of the you know most comp complete players that I've played with. Uh, I know it was on a number of your threes. You had six of them tonight, but Giannis seemed to be enjoying himself every time one of you guys hit a three. Just what do you think of, of the big guy on the bench tonight bringing the vibes? Uh, incredible. You know, it's just, again, it speaks to the unity of this team. You know, uh, a guy who, you know, would kill to be out there to play, um, but has our back when he's not. And that type of energy, those good vibes, that type of charisma that you see from him, you know, that's when we're at our best. We're having fun. We're playing with each other. Obviously, unfortunately, he wasn't out there with us, but you know, he throws a headband on and the second he threw it on, you know, you saw his personality come out and uh, he was doing it for the entire 48 minutes. And uh, that just speaks to, you know, I think the type of team that we have. And granted, you know, I think it's a lot easier when you're winning, but I think that's what's kind of gotten us to this point in the season. We fought through a lot of adversity at the beginning and now it's about continuing to, you know, roll together. I guess most importantly, do you think he pulled it off? Like, does headband Giannis work? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I encouraged him to put it on before the game just because I knew it was going to bring uh, that type of personality out of him. If it sticks, that's to be determined. I'd be shocked. But, uh, you know, it seemed to work. So hopefully he, uh, hopefully he at least thinks a little bit longer and harder about it. Steve McGargy. Still at 9 of 10 from 3 to start the game. You were probably the hottest up three point shooters. Drew was saying it's kind of contagious. There was kind of an energy there. Just what did it feel? Is that true? That does get, get, get contagious when people are making threes? And just how did it feel out there in the first period when you're on such a roll like you were? Yeah, it's definitely contagious. I, I honestly wouldn't necessarily say, or I'd like to at least think that the contagiousness, if that's a word, uh, isn't necessarily just from the makes. It's the shots we were getting. It's the good looks we were getting. Whether they went in or whether they didn't, tonight they happened to go in. But that type of you know, excitement is what we want to continue to have, even when a few of the good ones don't go in. And we got a lot of great looks in that first period. It was, it was fun to watch. And you know, we got a group of guys that can make shots, and we can get hot at any given time. Uh, but regardless of the making or the missing, I'm just I'm hoping and happy that we had that type of energy and excitement for the type of shots that we were getting and, you know, creating for our teammates. All right, let's wrap up with Jim Lazarski. 
Um, you were one of many guys who said when when there were the struggles or adversity early, as you mentioned, that, that the, the idea that it could be good for the, the squad, I guess, at some point, having won, what, seven in a row now, 12 or 13, whatever it is, I mean, are you seeing that? Can you look back at that now and say, okay, we did learn from that and, and sort of coming together at this point, or is that still something that's to be determined, you know, for the, the kind of final goal in, in the spring or summer? No, it's part of this team's identity. You know, we went through a, a tough stretch, and it's a stretch that nobody wants to go through. We didn't want to go through it. I'm sure our fans didn't want to see us go through it, but it's something that as you come out on the other end, you become stronger from. And you have that type of, you know, adversity to look back on if it rears its head at all at any point during the end of the season, the playoffs or whatever, um, to have that experience and that knowledge that we went through it, we pulled ourselves through it, and we're actually better for it on the other side, I think is a huge growth step for this team and this group. And I think um, it's starting to show itself now um, because I feel like, you know, we're in a groove. You know, it's one of those things where, I mean, I, I doubt many of the guys even knew how many games we won in a row. I doubt they knew what our record is in the last 10, 12, 15, 20, whatever the amount of games are. We're just having fun playing basketball together. We're having fun. We're excited for the next game. We're excited to go out there, compete, play together. And that's when we're at our best. That's when I've seen us over the last three years be at our best is when, you know, the wins kind of stack up. But I remember last year or the year before, we had like an 18, 19 game winning streak. And I don't know that many of the guys knew it aside from the fact that I'm sure a lot of you asked us questions about it as we got to the 10, 11, and 12. So it's one of those things where when we're in that mindset where we're just playing, we're free, we're loose, Giannis is running around the bench having ex excitement, guys are smiling, that's when you know Bucks basketball is fun to be a part of, and that's when hopefully our fans feed off that energy as well. Chris, just from a player's perspective, what's it like playing through a game where everybody gets their chance at a three-point shot as a team you guys finish with 24? That's great. Um, moving the ball, I think uh, we did a great job. I don't think we were seven. Um, with those threes, it was more penetration kickouts um, multiple times. Um, we still had to open shots, so I think it was a great night for everybody. Eric Dave. Obviously, Drew had a great night with those 14 assists. Uh, just what did you see from him being able to get in the lane and create all those shots for you guys? Uh, him just being him uh, with a little more opportunities with Giannis out. Um, I think he did a great job of getting everybody going, um, getting everybody involved, and getting us to, off to a great start. I mean, uh, we know what type of player he is, um, but tonight I think uh, we really saw it. Um, him, like you said, being able to get in the paint, um, finish some over the bigs, um, and then also have the vision to, to find kickouts and knowing which ones uh, to pass or whether to you know score um, out of each situation. Man, it was great to see. I know I was joking on during his post-game presser, but. You know, every time out, is it like, please, let's not get cold. Like, let, let's just, like, keep it going. Like, do you think about just, like, how hot you are in that moment? Because, I mean, 24-39 is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, uh, we definitely noticed we were um, hot starting up the game. But, like I said, it was, all came off great shots. Um, and move, moving the defense, making the defense work, um, moving the ball side to side, um, driving and kicking, um, you know, in one possession. It's hard to guard. And at the end of the day, we, we kept getting um, wide open threes. So. Uh, like you said, if, I, if we forced it, then yeah, maybe you think um, that can't last the whole game. But the way we were driving, being unselfish, and, share, and sharing the ball, um, when you play that way, um, it can. Jim Mozarski? Because, um, I mean, Pat's been playing a lot of minutes and at a high level for a while now. But um, I guess, what did you see tonight from him that helped you guys? But then also, I mean, over this last, what, two weeks that, that he's been in? Uh, just Pat's toughness. I mean, um, he's a tough guy. One of the strongest guys on the team. He's in there battling, um, you know, mismatches, I think. Um, he's undersized, playing the four. He can switch him to some fives and holds it, uh, holds his ground. Um, and then he also can shoot, shoot the ball very well, like we saw tonight. He was hot. Um, we wish he would have got that 2010 game, but um, it'll, it'll come. But he definitely had a, a great night tonight um, all the way around. Um. Uh, along, kind of along those lines, I mean, pretty much since the break, Brooke has, has really, you know, imposed his will, whether it be offensively, defensively, um, connecting with you or, or uh, Drew on Lodz. I mean, 
Um, does he look like he's got fresh legs coming off the break, or what? What, is, what have you seen from from him this, this last week or so? Uh, just a determined Brook. Um, I think uh, he's realized sometimes he settles uh, for some tough shots that we know he can make, but. Um, he knows how, how great he can be um, when he misses, mixes up his roles and his pops. Uh, when he has balance like that, um, the defense don't know what he's really going to do. Um, he's such a great shooter. Um, everybody knows the type of finisher he is at the rim. Um, it's great. Um, it's a weapon for us that uh, we're definitely glad to have. One more back to Zora. Going off of that, usually uh, it's you hitting Giannis for those lobs, but tonight you were, you were finding Brook in that position. How was it working with him in that role and then throwing it up to him? It's the same. The same type of connection, I feel like. Maybe, like you said, it goes to Giannis a little bit more because me and him are a little bit more pick and roll play, hand off play. But tonight was Brook. Like I said, he did a great job of you know, mixing up his pops and then uh, finding the opportunities to roll. Um, and then it's on me uh, to, to attract that big, make him come up, and then just pit it by the rim for him. Um, he finished quite a few from you know me, I think Drew also tonight.